Our way of life has been changed that we've practiced for thousands of years. Back in the late 40s or early 40s, uh, they discovered phosphate on our reservation. They started building a plant, started mining on the reservation. There's parts of our reservation that our people do not use anymore because they, of, of all the contamination that came through. A lot of our plants, a lot of our medicines, a lot of our trees, our water, have all been contaminated to the point of where our people don't even want to go into those areas anymore because they're scared of it. With the emphasis of human health and the environment protecting all aspects of it, um, we've continued to grow and the Brownsville grant is one of the ones that really helped us especially build a towards cleaning up actual sites here on our reservation. One of the things that I've learned as a, a tribal leader is that we're a conservative tribe. We've conserved our lands, we've conserved our government, and conserved the way we move in the purpose of how we think about land and how land uh, sustains us as a people. And in that conservation, some of the things that come up is that some of our land is contaminated. And through the EPA Brownsfield program and our environmental waste program, we've been able to revitalize some of that land by uh, being able to assess that land and uh, go through some of our historical buildings to see if there's asbestos or lead or uh, radon. And some of those issues come up in some of our buildings because they're so old. Through cleanup efforts, we hope to restore the land, revitalize the land, and make greener spaces for future use. From a tribal's perspective, we look at seven generations. So seven generations is a much longer time to be able to ensure that none of the waste will ever come back to life, so to speak. You know, we have to work with other agencies. We have to work with the EPA, we have to work with the Forest Service, we have to work with the state, and we have to work with the agencies because we can't do it all on our own. Together, we can build a sustainable future for Fort Hall, using the EWMP Brownfields program to be in harmony with the environment.